This is Kassala refugee camp in eastern Sudan, about 20 kilometers from the border of Eritrea. These boys, mostly Eritrean, some as young as 10, have either walked or been smuggled here. Johan is 13. On his way to Sudan, he was taken by traffickers. <laughs> Diyat Abara says he's 10. He and eight of his school friends walked for three days to get to Kassala. Children make up almost half the refugees here. Some come to go to school, others to find work in Sudan, Egypt, or even Europe. UNHCR estimates that approximately 3,000 people enter Sudan illegally from Eritrea every month. But the journey is dangerous. If captured, ransom money is demanded. There are also reports that some victims may be killed or sold for their vital organs. The High Commissioner for Refugees visited Kassala camp and described the problem as extremely serious. We believe that there must be an international cooperation, a serious international cooperation, uh, in order to make sure, uh, gathering uh, information, uh, articulating the response of the different uh, uh, police uh, departments, in order to make sure that these global criminal organizations are uh, indeed uh, 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 attacked in an effective way, that there is an effective crackdown on smuggling and trafficking, and at the same time attacking the criminals, that victims are protected. Jonas lived through this very nightmare. His identity is being concealed for his own safety. Uh, Jonas is still afraid and wants to go to another country. He's been caught twice by the Sudanese police outside the camp and says he will keep trying. Johan says he will stay and go to school. Diot, along with a number of the other children, may be reunited with their families in Eritrea. Everyone here has a story of their perilous journey to Sudan. They have this in common. They were easy prey on the road to finding a better or safer life.